Hello there and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to cover today is the pen tool. Now the first time I saw that it was called the pen tool I was real excited. I thought man I can do the greatest stick men in the world with this path tool. Well I soon discovered you can't because it it doesn't relate to any pen I've ever used. So I'm going to show you what you can use it for. Um, you can use it for selections. It's a great selection tool and uh, it's, it's very precise. That's why it's so good. It's what you're doing is actually creating a path. And here's a path. You can see we have none because I haven't started yet. But it creates a path. Then when you've finished your path, you can turn that into a selection. And it's a precise selection. Okay, so we'll take that and move it off to the side. And we're going to zoom in a little bit on this. What I want to do is, is this part here, the top of this door, whatever that's called, I'm going to make a path around it. And then I am going to cut it out and we'll have a nice selection okay so we'll zoom in a couple times just so it's easier to work with we'll get that guy out of there or select the pen tool move that off okay so here we are and you can zoom around you can pan like this you can zoom in and out while you're working with the pen tool so the first thing we're gonna do is get our little pen tool going here and we're gonna make a mark a little point right there that's called an anchor point and you can see that this line is anchored to that point. And wherever I move it, it follows around. And now I'm going to make a second anchor point. And I'm going to press it, put it right here. And without lifting my pen or without le releasing your left mouse button, if you're a mouser, you start dragging this. And you can see what it does, okay? It's arcing. And what you're going to do is massage this line so that it conforms exactly to the part you want to cut out. So we go up here. There, it's my first one. Now I'm going to make another anchor point here. There we go. And I can do that same kind of massaging here. Now I'm pulling down from the bottom handle it showed up. If I wanted to, I could press the Alt key and go to this one, the top handle. And if you're more comfortable doing that, yeah, go ahead and do it. It's whatever you like. But now I'm going to Alt click here to get rid of that first handle. Or the bottom handle. Okay, now we're going to come here, Alt-click, and straight down to here, and hit the Alt key. Now I'm going to go across over to here. Now with the pen tool, if I press the Shift key while I'm working with it, it constrains it to 90 degrees, or if I wanted to go this way, it would constrain it to 45 degrees, or up here, 90 degrees. So obviously I want to go flat. So I'll do it there. There's an anchor point. Okay, and we'll do this one here. Nice little massaging in there. This actually is a lot of fun. Once you get used to how it works, it really is a lot of fun to use. Maybe that's something to do with I have no life. I don't know, but it, it is fun. Uh, da -da -da. There we go. Let's get down there. Um, okay, that's a good one. Now let's be adventuresome and go all the way up to the top. And once you get close to the original anchor point, you'll see a little zero show up beside the pen tool. Put it down. And let's see if we can massage it into place. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so there's our uh, our path. Now if we look onto the paths palette, by gosh, we got a work path. If we double click on this and change its name to top of door thing. Okay. Now if I if I uh, save this file and close Photoshop and go off and have a life and uh, when I want to work with it again and I open this file this path will still be there which is really quite neat. So also in the paths palette down here you got some things you can do and this one here right there you tap this it turns that into a selection. Isn't that cool? Now we have a selection of the thing above the door. It sounds like a, a horror movie, doesn't it? The thing above the door. Anyways, now I'm going to go to the layers, and I'm going to hit Control and J, and it's going to put that selection on its own little layer. And if I turn off the background, there's my selection. You see it's nice and precise. Now I, you know, maybe got some things going on here. That's just my eye more than anything. But that's how you use it. And this was a simple thing, and you could probably do almost as good with it uh, with one of the selection tools. But you know, the, the people in the know, 
they say that this is the best selection tool you've got in Photoshop so you should learn how to use it and make it your friend the pen tool is your friend after all so that was a fairly simple straightforward one just to give you an idea of how to use it uh, I'm going to have another video this is going to be on a more complicated cutout and uh, there's some other things you can do with there as well so I hope you've found this useful. I hope you run off and try it now, especially if you've got a tablet, uh, because the tablet and the pen make it a lot easier. And although you can you can do it with a mouse as well. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this. And come on by my site someday. It's uh, www.thegraphicstablet.com, and uh, you'll find this video there and a text version of how to do this and all kinds of cool tips and tricks. So again, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Bye now.